Well, Rob, you have some news for us. Um, tell us what it is. The Zebra game um, is potentially going to be my last home game with, with the Warriors. Um, I'm moving on in the end season. Um, kind of contracts running out at the end of at the end of the season, and I'll I'll be looking for for another team to play with next year. That was my next question. So you are hoping to carry on. You're not hanging up your boots, as it were. It's merely going to be the end of your your Glasgow Warriors. Yes, I I think um, I think hopefully um, I'll I'll be getting getting an offer somewhere and, and still playing um, next season, but. Um, as far as you know, I've I've had a, a long, a long, long time playing for the Warriors, so it's it's kind of it's strange to think this is this is a stage of my my journey coming to an end. How do you feel about it now that you've said it out loud? It's definitely it's definitely emotional for me. It feels it feels like most of my life I've been kind of kind of playing rugby with Glasgow. I grew up in the city. I played at played at West of Scotland and and kind of came through, watched watched Warriors um, games when I was at school and um, you know and I was lucky enough to to join the academy from there and to and to be signed and I've been I've been a full pro here for for 12 years so it's it's been it's, it's been a long time and it's been incredible to, to to be part of this club. Well Rob I know some people who are not going to be happy with this news that you're leaving are the Glasgow Warriors fans. How have they been with you throughout your career because um, I would imagine they've been a huge source of support for you. I guess including my family who, who come to a lot of games. Um, and I, I remember I come to, to games and sitting in the stand mm -hmm. um, before I was playing for the Warriors. And as a, as a really, a really fanatical base that we have, es especially these stands, you're, you're liable to, to hear your name sung in a ridiculous song <laughs> if, you're, if you're warming up along there. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I think as well the yeah, the support that we have, kind of, you see that after games where, where kind of everyone, everyone's eager to, to applaud you, to, to kind of, to pick you back up after a loss, or, or to encourage even more when you've won. I mean, you've been at the club so long that you played at Firhill, you played here at Scotson. How important as a warrior was it to move here and to have that home? It's really made a difference to us in a couple of ways. That, that for one, kind of. Bringing all our training into one building was big for big for the squad, kind of because we used to used to lift weights at one place. We we trained at another, and then we played at a completely different ground, and and it just it made it's made it a lot easier to be in one facility. Um, but as well, kind of this is Scotland's really become our home, and you know this is we we sell out every single week, and we have we have the advantage of the the home fans here roaring us on every game, so. So Scotland's kind of become a key part of, of being for playing for the Glasgow Warriors. That's the thing you can't underestimate because the results show it how much of a fortress this place is. I mean, what does that mean to you guys as players when you're preparing for a game here and you know how strong you are at home? Yeah, I think um, I, yeah, it's, as you say, it's clear from from our records that, that this is a tough place for teams to come, um, and and I think that I think that shows that kind of. Particularly from our results like this year, where we've we've maybe not been as good away from home this season, but but really at home we've we've it's kind of been impenetrable, and we've had had huge wins, European Cup wins here, and I think it's I think we get strength from from knowing that we come here and we can beat any team. You must be immensely proud though of what you've achieved at this club. You're the record appearance holder here. You know what does that mean to you now as you look at the the end of your Warriors journey on the horizon? I'm I'm hugely proud. I never, you know, I mean, when I when I first came to training and when I was when I was a, a young player come through, I never I never thought that I'd be I'd be sitting with with the most caps. I think it's yeah, it's it's been it's been a pleasure to to play here, um, especially especially you know to to see the see the amazing players and and the people to to kind of to play alongside the the people we've had over the years, like so many. Out, outstanding, outstanding players. Have you spoken to any of the guys who have, you know, either left the club of late or, or in fact, retired altogether from rugby? Just about what to expect when when your time here comes to an end? It's it's actually something that kind of, I guess, the, the conversation naturally comes up when when you talk to guys. When I saw um, I saw Graham Morrison and saw Dougie Hall, they're saying, you know, it's it is a big step, and and you're gonna you're gonna miss playing when you finish and. 
And I think I think it's it's funny that every every single guy who's who's left the Warriors says says the th same thing. You miss you miss the environment and you miss playing. Are you disappointed that it's coming to an end, or had you almost um, consigned yourself to the fact that this was going to happen at, at this time? I think uh, it's it's kind of you know it's it's inevitable that that for for every rugby player this this comes eventually. My parents told me when I was younger that you know it to you know it couldn't um, that you know it, it wouldn't last forever and you, you had to be prepared for things and when Al Kellett was captain he'd he'd as well say look you don't you don't know when it's going to be your your last game and and I I think looking looking back I've been incredibly lucky to to have the amount of time I've had with the team to had the to to play um, so many seasons so many times so so I I recognise I've been I've been hugely lucky to be involved, um, but yeah I, I think it's it's disappointing as well to be to be saying goodbye. How have your teammates reacted to the news? Have you had that conversation with them as such that you will be leaving at the end of the season? Spoke with the guys and um, I I think they're disappointed. At least I I hope they're disappointed <laughs> too, and they're not they're not glad to see the back of me. I guess when we're training, I try being as annoying as possible, so I'm sure that they won't miss they won't miss every aspect of that, but. Um, it's it's definitely it's definitely hard for me to be moving on. I I feel like ev every year I've been here, we've we've had players who've been hugely important to the club, who've who've gone and then and moved on and gone to the clubs, and that's and that's part of what happens. And part of our strength of the Warriors is is kind of is both the the connection we have that that you know we believe that once you're a warrior, always a warrior, but also that we we're bringing through new generations to talent all the time. And when you think. Back to the, the coaches that you've played under here at Warriors, you know, I'm thinking of the likes of Gregor Townsend and Dave Rennie and, and now Danny Wilson. Who would you say has had the, the lasting impression on you and the way you play rugby? Um, yeah, it's, it's a good question. I think I think that's been a, a big part of our success at the club is is the strength of the coaches that we've had. Um, and I was I was signed by Sean Lanine right, um, yeah. when I first started and, and Shade Monroe at Ford's coach and and um, and he was still Ford's coach uh, the year we, the year we won the league with with Gregor in charge. And I think, I think uh, you know it's definitely something that's that's been great for my player development is to, is to work with those those great coaches that that kind of that Sean, Gregor, Dave, and and Danny have all all bringing different ideas, all all challenging us to, to constantly improve as players and it's it's good for us as players, it's good for the squad. And have you allowed yourself to think about what's next? I know you still have business to, to conclude here, but you know, what type of fresh challenge are, are you looking? Would it be mean a, a move abroad or are you thinking about staying within the UK? I mean I'm I'm just I'm you know considering considering offers at the moment and, and I'll see where I see where I end up. But um, but I guess for that's that's more something that my agent will, will talk to clubs, and I'm I'm kind of hoping we're gonna gonna finish this season on a high. It's been a pleasure to play for the club, and and I've been really lucky to do so. And I just every time I've I've had the chance, I've I've just tried to give everything I can in the field.